Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today What I'm going to be bringing you is a Newport County versus Bradford City match vlog If you do go on to enjoy today's video Please make sure to drop a like on there for me If you could channel it 150 likes on today's video That'd be massively appreciated Subscribe if you're new as well We are now on the road 7,000 subscribers So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already With that post notification button It's free to do so and it does massively help out Get your thoughts on today's game as well Down in the comment section down below now it's obviously not going to be a, an easy game today Newport are a decent side despite the fact they are struggling a little bit this season I think only nine wins for them so far I want to say they've only won like three or four games at home so fingers crossed with their home record and our away record it sets it up nicely for a comfortable win today the reverse fixture was a very very comfortable 2-0 win one of the first games of the season they got a red card in the first half as well so fingers crossed we can match that today in terms of a score prediction I'm going to go with a 1-0 away win for the Bantams I'm going to go with Scott Banks to get the goal and fingers crossed we can pick up another three points get back to winning ways so make sure to drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and i shall see you all down in newport um, it's absolutely hammering it down i'm not sure how long my camera's going to survive to be honest lewis 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 and that's the way we like it we like it we like it whoa, whoa, whoa. Mark Hughes, breath for our mate! Mark Hughes, breath for our mate! Na 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 city! I think that should be a red card though, but I think he's got confused between the rugby lines on the pitch and the football lines. Again. Oh, he's so good. What a finish. What a goal. He gets the ball, he scores a goal. And the Andy Cook. The Cook. Cook. And the Andy Cook. He gets the ball, he scores a goal. And the Andy Cook. What a finish. When we win promotion, this is what we see. We are, we are champions of the football league. E-I-E-I-E-I-O. Of the football league we go. Bradford City FC. We're by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. Follow. We support the city. The city. The city. The city. And that's the way we like it. We like it. We like it. Whoa. Whoa. We do, all city, we love you. City, we do, city, 
sits it, sits it, and that's the way we like it, like it, like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. too much in the game so far, brilliant goal from Cook. Question marks over Lewis's yellow card, should it be red, should it be le yellow? Half time either way, we're one nil ahead. The rain has started to get considerably worse during half time as well. This is not ideal. The ball out, the ball out, the way the ball, the sit the sit the sit the sit and that's the way we like it, we like it, we like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Disappointing goal to concede. time wasting at home when you're drawing. That's very embarrassing.
Well, after a very long, cold, four-hour journey home, sat in wet clothes, which certainly wasn't ideal, I am obviously now back home, and upon reflection of the game, really, really frustrated, not only by the result, but by the performance today, really defensive, negative, I don't know if that was the players or the tactics today, either way, it's just not wasn't enjoyable to watch to be honest with you, you know the obviously the rain made the atmosphere pretty flat as well because no one could really be bothered doing anything they didn't really want to move we score a goal completely out of nowhere you know i think in the first half we were pretty poor to be honest with you we didn't really create anything i think it's costello or, um or walker win the ball back it falls to andy cook cuts away from a couple of players and finishes beautifully in it to the back of the net just before that though we had the crazy incident with harry lewis getting confused between the football lines and the rugby lines now, i actually think it's an afl rule that the rugby lines are not meant to be shown on a football pitch so maybe Newport might end up getting in trouble for that obviously Lewis catches the ball outside of his penalty area but he thinks he's inside of it because of the rugby line but I think by the letter of the law a yellow card is the right decision I think it's something to do with if a goalkeeper handles it outside the area it's the same rules as an outfield player but because it wasn't denying a clear goal scoring opportunity because if he'd been two steps back he'd have been in his box and the Newport player were nowhere really near him that is why it was a yellow card rather than a red card but the goal that they score I haven't seen it back to be honest with you but it looks like a ball comes into the box apparently it's gone down as a right out going goal I'm not really too sure what happened there I couldn't really see what happened to be honest with you but they were definitely there for the taking they were really really poor and we're still the better of the two sides today so a little bit concerning it's nice that we don't have a game in midweek that will be much needed but we cannot be unchanged next week there were so many poor performances today I think apart from Clayton everyone was maximum a 6 out of 10 even Andy Cook who scored he's got a brilliant goal and I give him credit for that you know 20 in the league is fantastic but his overall play today not normally like Andy Cook I thought he was quite poor but overall I thought pretty much everyone had a pretty much an off game which is not the first time we've said that over the last couple of weeks even though we've been winning matches it doesn't really matter about the performance but when you picked up two draws against mid-table sides back to back in the space of five days really frustrating when our four points off of the automatic promotion spots and our next two games have to be wins we have to beat Hartlepool and we have to beat Carlisle as well but anyway that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed it please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 100 50 likes as I said at the start of today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts as well on today's draw down in the comment section down below I've not had the benefit of being able to watch any of the footage back but I presume because of the rain the audio is not going to be great on today's video so I do apologise about that blame Newport and their lack of a roof on their away end thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all very soon for another one. Peace.